Hi guys, in this video I will continue upgrading PostgreSQL server and I will show you how to migrate data from 9.2 to 9.6. Uh, so, uh, first of all, let's check the version of my uh, PostgreSQL server by typing sudo yum list PostgreSQL server. Here you can see it is 9.2 and first of all let's install the new version 9.6 so just go in google and search for pgdg postgresql 9.6 and open the first link which points to postgres website then download uh, for 9.6 uh, and for centos 7 uh, this file copy link address go back to terminal and install it by typing sudo yam install and then the link location press enter so now we we just uh, need to update our cache by typing sudo yam make cache press enter and now we can get listing again uh, of postgre sql packages and you can see that we now have uh, 9.6 so let's install it uh, sudo yam install postgresql 9.6 server press enter and after that we just need uh, to initialize our database so let's do that type in sudo and then path to the file which is located at usrpg sql bin and then postgre sql 9.6 setup space init db press enter it will initialize database uh, so after that we just need to stop our all uh, services of postgre sql so i only have my old version uh, that might be running so let's stop it by typing sudo systemctl stop postgresql and now we can uh, log in as postgres user by typing sudo su space dash space postgres press enter and now we can uh, run uh, pg upgrade script uh, which is uh, migrating data uh, from old version to new version uh, so just run uh, this file which is located as us at usr pg sql 9.6 bin pg underscore upgrade and let's check help first here you can see many parameters but we will be using only this uh, old bin directory new bin directory old data directory and new data directory uh, so let's run it and also let's use uh, this verbose parameter for extra logging uh, so the old bin directory is located here at usr bin space uh, path to the new bin directory which is at usr pg sql bin now let's specify specify path to the uh, new uh, to the old data directory uh, which is at var and then pg var lead uh, pg sql data and uh, the last parameter is path to the new uh, data directory which is located at var lib pg sql 9.6 slash data so now we are ready to run this script to upgrade our data databases uh, so just press enter and it says that there is some error and it says that you just need to check this file so let's just check it pg upgrade server dot log 
and here it says unrecognized configuration parameter Unix socket directory. Oops. So I'll just copy this parameter name and I will go back to Google. Uh, let's search it and let's search, search for this uh, Unix socket directory pg upgrade space hack and this link uh, which points to dba stack exchange uh, this is the one that we need so click on this and here there is a solution how to fix it uh, in the first answer so this is what we need uh, i'll just do it step by step so you know what happens here i will log out from postgres user and i will log in maybe as root or i don't need to log in as root. i'll just do it one by one using sudo so let's move this file uh, which is at usr bin pg ctl to this file dash orig uh, which is means original okay so we just moved from here to here now uh, let's just uh, create a new file uh, with the same exactly the same name and let's paste some commands there so I'll go back here. So copy this uh, in uh, line in quotes, uh, but excluding quotes. Paste it here. Go back again, and then also copy this line, excluding a uh, single quotes, and paste it here. So now we will just save this file and exit. Also, we need to give executable permissions. So type and sudo change mode plus x and then path to this file press enter so we can just check now what we have so now we have two files one is original one is that we just created so let's log in again as postgres by typing sudo su dash postgres press enter and now let's try to run the same command pg upgrade uh, which is located at this uh, new version 9.6 make sure that you're running the proper script uh, and also four parameters new bin directory ah old bin directory new bin directory and then old data new data press enter now you can see that it is working fine uh, it is not showing any errors it's just some output uh, which is okay you can see okay okay upgrade complete everything went well so now i can log out from here from postgres user and i will move that original file again to the original location so I will move this USR bin pgctl orig uh, to pgctl. Press enter. So uh, let's just check that now we have only one file, which is original one here. So everything as it was before. Uh, we just migrated our database from uh, old version to new version. Uh, and now we can just uh, uninstall uh, our old postgresql uninstall it and we can also uh, enable our new service systemctl enable postgresql dash postgresql-9.6 so we just enabled it uh, also we need to start it uh, by typing systemctl start and then service name we can check status it 
works fine uh, also we can uh, log in again as postgres user and now if we try to type psql you can see command not find not found this is because it is not in the path uh, so we just need to specify it uh, specify the absolute path to egsql 9.6 so here is the path if we try to run it you can see it is running fine we can also check the list of databases so this is my test database which migrated successfully to the new version so here you can see 9.6 so i think this is all for this tutorial you know how to migrate your database using pg upgrade uh, also you can watch my previous video uh, how to finish the installation uh, also there is a text article which you can read uh, there is everything uh, that you might need there so that's it and thanks for watching.